I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. I was in high school. There was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. 
so I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes, but Rachel, it cannot be. You think you have the right to decide that for her? When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. I mean, people change, right? Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel. I think I need to lie down. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right? Wonder what James is thinking right now. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea 
what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I, I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. Maybe try the truth for a change? What do you mean? Well, you did lie to your daughter for 15 years. This is true. And that's why I need your help. I only care about Rachel, Chloe. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. I'm depending on you to keep Rachel safe, Chloe. I hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like this. Rachel only knew half the truth when she set that fire. What if she'd known everything? Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is a known associate of that psycho who attacked Drew? Then again, so is Frank. The Tempest show feels so far away now. This is so painful to look at. This seems like a James and Rose bookshelf. I can't imagine Sarah here instead. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. I guess there's worse things than growing up around fancy stuff like this. I can't even imagine how she must be feeling. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Do you need any help with anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway door to the left of the fridge. It's so weird to look at this now. Uh, 
Hey, cool graphic. Rachel was really getting rid of this. Mrs. Amber, could I have this? Oh, sure, Chloe. Rachel was going to give it away anyhow. Thanks. Rose is so calm. Not like Rachel at all, really. Were you able to find the broom? Here you go. Thank you. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Thanks. But why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago, and now... Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. There are many painful things about Rachel's past including my own role in hiding the truth. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth, after all these years, hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. You're welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Uh, Rachel? I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. We were so close to making our break last night. Now... I don't know. May you always be safe. 
Sure. But from who? Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Rachel's always made being an A student seem so easy. Almost sad to see all this effort. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. I bet Rachel could have any study partner she wanted. Not that I would let her. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Cool light. This light needs more light. I wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... Uh, alone. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. The yin and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Rachel might not survive her family, but at least she'll survive the zombie apocalypse. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. On stage, I think Rachel said...
Rachel was incredible as Prospera. <laughs> I won't forget a second of it. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking right now. I want her to tell me when she's ready. Ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Wish there was some way to make this brighter. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> 